What's up traders? It's your boy Looney and today we're diving into something big. How to trade in a volatile market after the recent interest rate cuts. And if you're looking to adjust your stock and option strategies, this video is for you. So let's get right into this. My count is currently sitting at 23.3k up 300 on the day. It's September 19th. So the Federal Reserve just cut interest rates. And I believe if you find it here, you can read a little bit about the article and it goes into it, but it dropped by 50 basis points or 0.5. Now it's a little below 5% on the interest rates. So how does this impact your stock trading? When rates go down, borrowing money becomes cheaper for companies. So this leads to higher stock prices. I'm going to pull up my stocks right now. And as business can grow faster by ex accessing cheaper loans. But here's the catch. Volatility increases too. So this is where opportunities and risk can come in. So for example, stocks like NVIDIA or Amazon are often the first to surge after a rate cut. But remember, the volatility can lead to big swings. So while these stocks might look attractive, there's a lot of uncertainty to manage. So you can see right here, NVIDIA went up 1%, and on the week, it's even because it just happened about two days ago. On the month, it's been down. So you could see the stock price go up a lot. So it might be a good company to look in. I'm not invested in NVIDIA. I already made my money on that. I had a good exit strategy, and I'm okay with not and missing out on that stock. So I, I've been staying clear of Amazon, of NVIDIA. Amazon, I do have 1.66 shares. I'm looking to get this up a little bit. I cut back on spending because I knew the price was going to increase, and it did. It went up around 2%. On the week, it went up 3%. On the month, it went up 6%. So not big returns, but you could see the growth happening. So now that we got the stocks out of the way where growth companies are affected, or tech companies, let's talk about options. If you're trading options, like I've said before, rate cuts have a different effect. Lower interest rates generally reduce the cost of buying options. So it makes them more affordable. So if you're an option seller, you're probably getting lower premiums. If I just pull up Riot and I go to these premiums for sell put, they're a lot lower than we're used to. We have $22, the $8 put. So they're a lot cheaper as a seller. So this means that the profit you get from selling options is a little bit less than usual. To adapt to this, Maybe short-term trades are a better focus because the longer term you go, the more uncertainty and it's not really worth the risk you're taking. Sure, you get paid more premium, but you don't know if it's going to work in your favor. And, and if you go out long-term, the premium you're getting isn't really worth the risk is a good way of thinking of this. So I look at trades that are going from one to four weeks, sometimes six weeks of time to look at for expiration. This allows you to take advantage of time decay without actually exp exposing yourself to like long-term volatility. You never know what's going to happen in the next four months, but in the short month, you kind of have a good idea that the stock's not going to move too much, or if it does, it's going to go up, or it should go up because of the surge. And yeah, I've got a few of these short-term plays that I'm running right now. I mean, you could see Mara expiring tomorrow, Riot expiring next week, more Riot next week. And a few out a couple of weeks or a month. And this helps you minimize the risk while actually getting to keep the premiums coming in. Here's how you can thrive in a post rate cut environment. So after a while, these might volatility might come down a little bit. So as a short term option seller, as I mentioned, stick to trades that are less than here from one to four weeks, and it's all about staying humble, nimble, and avoiding long-term risk. And next is just the basics. Focus on high-quality stocks. And something like Apple, which might not be a growth company, sort of say, but it's a good company that just stays consistent. And it definitely, it definitely is a growth company because it does go up over time, but it might not give you the returns as it used to. But even something like Microsoft is a good alternative. I don't have one share, but I'm looking to get there eventually. And as you can see, it's, it's definitely going up along with the other tech stops, which these benefit from cheaper borrowing, but are stable enough 
to whether the market swings. So it's able to combat the volatility. So industries like tech, real estate, and utilities often perform better in low rate environments. These sectors rely on cheap loans to fuel growth. So they're great areas to target during this time. That's your quick rundown of how to trade during this volatile market after a rate cut, whether you're trading stocks or options. Understanding the changes can impact the, the market is key to staying ahead. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment below on how you're adjusting to your trades and after the cut. And of course, join my Discord for live trades and discussions with my community. I do have paid memberships now and I brought down the price. It's now $15 a month for level three and then $10 a month for level two. You could read more about it on my Discord. But basically, I give out trades on a weekly basis along with other benefits and it will be on my Discord. So until next time, peace.